So most of you guys were asking why there is change in format in the price counter like why we are getting Google form instead of the price email which you used to get like coupons etc. So here is the important thing which you need to understand and most of you guys are asking that how you got this information. Basically if you see my previous video related to price counter updates even after three weeks ago I already made a video related to it that will be getting price email in the form of Google form. Why? The reason is simple. We'll decode it. But before we start, make sure to subscribe the channel and like the video. First of all, you need to understand that the most important thing is that previously, like in previous cohort, we used to get a separate URL, a separate code, and a separate uh, means website for ordering the swags. But from this time, we'll be getting a Google form, right? We'll be getting a Google form. It is directly handled by Google itself that will ask us just only our address name mobile details all the details they'll ask and after that uh, they will just uh, send us the goodie like they'll ask the hoodie size t-shirt size whatever there is you have to just mention it do not worry when the price counter will be live I'll make a video so you have to simply mention all the details over there your details where the stock will be shipped now why they are introducing this Google form to curb the system like you must have seen many people in the event in your telegram channel and in different telegram channels many people are posting they are sharing that how they are getting multiple swags instead of one like they used to participate with multiple accounts right they used to participate with multiple accounts now in previous cohort what they did they did they verified all the data like they verified all the data of the participants and checked whether they are genuine users or not and it took a lot of time it took a lot of time like our price counter was opened in July itself and the swags were delivered in October November you can see because they were identifying multiple accounts and due to which there were some more issues that Google team put hold on multiple accounts who have participated in the accounts even though they were genuine due to which the individual accounts uh, to face some issue. I think you are getting confused here. I want to say that people used to participate with multiple accounts with same name or the name of their brother sister or parents due to which they used to order multiple set of swags for example multiple legend tire multiple novice tire and trooper tire Google identified it they stopped the shipping process okay in the mid of the journey the shipping process was stopped now they recalled all the data and verified and then new set of data was prepared now due to which a huge delay was experienced so this time what they will do they will share the Google form itself as the form is owned by Google team they will verify some of the teams some of the things what they will verify okay what they will verify IP address see you can have multiple swags there is no issue you can have multiple swags but if they are genuine cases like your brother and sisters are passing means completing the challenges then you are safe but if same participant with same name for example a participant name is Yash and he is participating again with Yash K yes J yes I like this he is participating or you so this considers as multiple accounts so in this case they will identify the IP address that the orders are made from the same IP address same device ID same Mac ID all the details they will fetch and they will just directly cancel the order so it will save time okay indirect means they are just doing it to cancel the orders so that your orders are cancelled if found duplicate so that the price counter will open smoothly and all the swags will be saved earlier because if they directly send the data to the printo or white square in whatever the shipping company and provider company is there then it will become delay because most of them won't filter until Google allows them so this time Google is trying to do all the things beforehand so that no one faces any kind of issues so they will verify device ID what they will verify let me tell you they will verify IP Mac address device ID every device has a unique ID IMEI number they cannot fetch but unique networking ID they can easily fetch including IP address Mac address even just you check your Google Cloud community profile you can see you can see a lot of details yourself then they are Google they, they have access to all your records so they will verify first all these things then they will verify name what is your name because see uh, same name pub same name people can have multiple uh, sorry uh, people with same name can be in multiple in number for example 
you can also be yash your neighbor's name also can be yash so like this they will identify the genuine case so they will identify your name then mobile number if you use same mobile number for ordering swags these already you know will be cancelled address combination see everyone has unique style of writing even though address can be same but there would be slight modification they will identify very minute details like comma address number house number the writing of style like some people directly paste capital okay like this they do okay some people if you're not getting i want to say that the writing style you must have understood that writing style differ from person to person now here they will verify the address also and if they found that it matches a database of two people they will simply cancel the swags okay now if you are a genuine case like you and your brother sisters are taking part on it so how you can ensure your swags are not cancelled see address and mobile number uh, sorry name and mobile number will be different and email order email also but the problem is that the address in some cases if you are having multiple house or you can order in a nearby places which i have shared in multiple times in the videos so if you have these things in access you can easily change the address but if you live in same place and you cannot change the address like you want to mention the same address then they will happen two things there will be happening two things one thing is that they will ask for valid government id not college id government id aadhaar driving license etc second case will be that after they have verified uh, they may call you for video interview video interview okay video interview means they will ask you about your genuine participant or not they will ask some lab questions or some basic question they will ask and then your order cancellation will be lifted that means you'll be getting the swags so this was the quick thing do not worry these are very extreme thing okay i'm just sharing whatever update i'm getting from google internal team and the arcade team okay the swags department all the things i'm covering so make sure you subscribe the channel and if you still have doubts do like the video if you still have doubts do let me know in the comment section thank you have a great day ahead